since he moved in. Hey, Coop! Wait till you see what I got from the house of Swap! Meow! What is it? What's going on, Daddy? Check it out! Boy, these old hinges need some oil. <gasps> My very own drum set! Thanks, Dad! I had a drum set when I was your age, and I used to bash it up day and night! What did you play, Henry? Oh, <laughs> it's me, Dennis, Mr. Brittenberger. I just look like my dad right now. Daddy, where's my present? Oh, uh, well, Millie, uh, I... <laughs> we'll go back and get you something of your own, okay? Yay! <sighs> but first, I better fix this squeaky trunk. <laughs> there she is, Coop, and here's your sticks. All right! You want to stay and watch? Uh, later, son. We're going to go back and see if we can't find something for Millie at the House of Swap. And it'll be way better than dumb old drums. Have fun. Makes a guy thirsty. Ow. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> huh, back to the old skins. <laughs> My new drums. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> <laughs> Cat, got an earache? Huh. Then I guess I shouldn't do this. <laughs> do you want to get away from the noise? Maybe you should just leave then. <laughs> okay, have it your way. <laughs> you know, Cat, there's a lot of noisy things in this house. <laughs> I'll find something in this house you can't destroy. I'm the baddest girl in the world. In fact, you're better than a diamond or pearl. Yeah. 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 Where are you going, Cat? He wants to hear a song, man. 
Millie. Okay. Hey, Mr. Cat looks kind of sick. Uh, well, did you know singing makes sick kitties better? Really? I can sing. <laughs> you sure can. And that's one noisemaker you can't destroy. Ladies and gentlemen, Sweet potato. I'm trying to make Mr. Cat feel better by singing, Daddy. Well, then, I've got just the thing to help. My old clarinet. Together with your singing, Millie, this is sure to help Cat with... <laughs> whatever's bugging him. Wait, I want to play, too. Let's jam. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Look, it's working. <laughs> Mr. Cat's even dancing. <laughs> Take this outside and have a parade. Now I'm singing outside. I like my French fries fried. There is no way you can hide from my lovely singing. Cut off that racket! Oh, Lady Munson! Hello, Mrs. Munson. Oh, hello, Millie dear. Millie was just giving Mr. Cat a little singing therapy, old lady. Yeah, uh, Mrs. Munson. I didn't bother you, did I? You could never bother me, Millie dear. You, on the other hand, stop strangling that clarinet! If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a clarinet! Take a lesson! I was third chair in the high school band, I'll have you know! Huh, guess I better take my clarinet inside. Where did I put it anyway? And where's Mr. K? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. Ooh, I can sing my Where Are You, Mr. Cat song. <gasps> Where are you, Mr. Cat? <laughs> ah! I think she's lost her voice. Come on, Pumpkin. Your throat needs warm tea, honey, and a long, long rest. I need to sing Mr. Cat all better. Great. Now what am I going to use to get rid of Cat? Uh, looks like it's up to me for an encore. <laughs> I am running very fast from a deadly alien cat. It is going to bring me to, so I run into my room. <laughs> you better back off, cat, or I'll tell Dad what you did to my drum set. Yeah? Well, get a hair full of this. Okay. <laughs> Then the show must go on. Wow, Coop. I'll make the whole city feel better with those speakers. You sure will, Millie. You sure will.
okay? That was quite a fall. Unfortunately, I think Kat's feeling a lot better. Thank you, thank you. And now for my encore! No! Oh, just leave your fans wanting more, Sweet Pea. I'm tired of karaoke anyway. <laughs> Hello? What you got there? My violin! <laughs> yeah, how about later, sweetie? Let's see what's on TV. Coop! I was enjoying the peace and quiet anyways, weren't you? we can use the insurance money to renovate. I want a game room! Ooh, I want a princess castle! Kids, a job that big means I'll need some special helpers. Hear that, Mr. Cat? We're gonna be Daddy's special helpers! Game room, here I come! Dad, you can count on me. Remember, son, measure twice, cut one. Uh, got it, Dad! Uh-oh! Special help for Lily and Mr. Cat reporting for duty, Daddy. I'll hold that. Let's go, Millie! I'm helping Daddy, too! Or not! I, too! You're not doing your job! You're not doing your job! You're not doing your job! Enough now! There's room for two helpers. Hmm. Here's an important job, Sweet Pea. Glue these together and hold them tight till they're dry. Okay, Daddy. You can help spread the glue, Mr. Cat. And Coop, bring me one of those two by fours. One two by four coming through. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but not through the wall. <laughs> it was uh, Cat! Uh, okay. That one was me. You sure picked the wrong assistant for that job, Daddy. That food? Cat's hiding fishy frisky bits in the wall. Who knows what else we'll find in here? More food or... Maybe even some dangerous space weapons. Don't be silly. Obviously, the builders put it in there as insulation. <laughs> Looks like you're stuck with me, Mr. Cat. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I'll help, Daddy. Slow down, Millie. You have to be aware of everything around you on a construction site. Ugh. Coop, if you want that game room, you have to behave. I can always make it Cat's bedroom instead. It's one of Cat's evil weapons. See, Dad? I told you that Cat's up to no good. What I see is a hand vacuum. I must have left it there when I vacuumed Cat hair out of the vents. Uh, Cat doesn't have hair? <laughs> oh, right. 
Well, at least now you can use the vacuum to clean up your mess. Come on, Millie. Let's get some drywall to patch that hole. <laughs> you think that's funny, Tuna Bra? Whoa. Dad? Dad! No. Oh, come on. How hard could it be to vacuum? Dad, that was no vacuum. It was a lethal vaporizing ray gun built by that sinister mutant mole. Right. A mutant mole who plays with balls of yarn. Dad, come quick! What now, son? Uh, can I get you a hammer? The best thing about painting is the house is your canvas. That's why I'm painting a giant mural of Mr. Cat. <laughs> ah, thanks to you, I'm stuck on cleanup duty. How lame is that? Prove I've been right all along. Coop, Billy, the ladder. Dad, it was Cat again. And this helmet can contact an alien cat world filled with hairless cats with advanced technology. Blood spray! <laughs> We're a little behind schedule, what with all the extra repair work. I shouldn't lose my princess castle just because Coop's a klutz. It's Cat's fault. Coop, forget the cat, or your game room becomes the cat room. Will do, Dad. I promise. Good, then. Break's over. Remember, no more catastrophes. <laughs> get it? <laughs> Good one, Dad. First, I'm gonna get that game room. Then I'm gonna get you. Okay, Millie, let her rip! Yeah! All right! One princess tower and one game room. Give me five. Now let's go check on your brother. <laughs> so, what do you think, Sport? Awesome, Dad. My new game room is the coolest. I'm proud of you, kiddo. You put your nose to the grindstone and managed not to destroy anything else. Much. And now I'm gonna make dinner in my new kitchen! Woo! <laughs> you know, I can live with being the only one who knows Cat's secret, as long as I have this. Oh, no! No! That's it! Dad sees your little ice ray in action. He'll have to believe me. Dad! Dad! Hey! Ah! Oh, wow! Now my finger! Dinner's almost ready. I go. Oh, time to defrost that fridge. Coop, did you take my tiara? <laughs> you can run, but you can't slide! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> this one coop wrecking crew is gonna de-weaponize you once and for all. Unless, of course,
course you have all your weapons ready to use on me. I was hoping the Princess Castle would last longer than six minutes, son. That's the end of your game room, too. But, 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 cat! No more butts. Just clean. But, but... Here, Mr. Cat. I can't wait any longer. Whoa, whoa. Cut me in line, Harley, and I'll do your homework for two weeks. Three weeks. One week. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. Good luck. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thank you for wishing me good luck. Not that I need any. I was talking to, to, to Millie, actually. Television. Ooh, am I on TV? Hi. I mean, I'm gonna be on Senior Vital Stardom. Oh. <laughs> Come back! I'm kicking the can again. Sheesh, <laughs> <laughs> she must have brought her brick collection. <laughs> Okay, Millie, let's go home. Okay. Guess what, Goopy? Ah, baby! When I sing on the show tomorrow, I am going to dedicate my song to my very own lucky charm. You! Isn't that wonderful? Mwah. Ooh, this is news. Coop likes Phoebe. Oh, no. When the show is broadcast, everyone will think I like Phoebe. Coop, you need to relax. How can I? Phoebe's gonna dedicate a song to me in front of the whole world. Coop and Phoebe sitting in a tree. Kiss them! <laughs> I'll never be able to show my face in public again. <laughs> ah, Phoebe, stop that! Hi, Coop. You gonna watch me tonight? I'd like to, but I'm moving to Antarctica. Yeah, no TV there. Hmm, you must be nervous. I mean, what happens if you hit a sour note or something? What can go wrong when I have my own lucky charm? Bye-bye! Hey, oh, hey, 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 oh. My life is over! I don't know what's going on with the reception. At this rate, we're gonna miss the show. Hey, Dad. Uh, TV broken? <laughs> <laughs> no problemo, kids. I think I saw some spare parts in the basement. 
Stuff looks useful. Face it, Coop. Everyone's gonna see Phoebe dedicate that song to you no matter what. Boy, I found stuff I didn't even know I had down there. Now, where do you suppose this goes? <laughs> Oop, not there. <laughs> not there either. Come on, Coop. You can lose yourself in our new 500 channel high def flat screen TV. Whoa. Dad got this universal remote. <laughs> It can hack into any electrical device, override the operating code, and take it over. Coming up, the pre-show pre-show oh, for Jesus Senior Channel. Way. Coming up, the pre-show pre-show for Senior Sorry again. Way to Good again. It's on every channel. There's no escape. Forget the TV. Let's go play with my remote-controlled cars. <laughs> <laughs> when this show airs, everyone in town, no, everyone in the world is going to think I like Phoebe. Ugh. Not if we stop it at the source. Dennis, that's brilliant. Let's go to the satellite truck. <laughs> oh, 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 for the high ground. Why are my toys going haywire? <laughs> Resist watching people sing in the comfort of their own home from the comfort of your own home. It's Sing Your Way to Stardom. Our first is Andre in Paris. Do we me. <laughs> Ooh, another dream spins down the drain. We'll be right. That does it. If we're gonna watch Phoebe on Sing Your Way to Stardom, then we have to think big. Come on, sweetie. Hurry, Dennis. He's coming back for more. Okay, let's see. How many is it Dad's shirt size? You know, Mom's birthday? What about Too uh, late? I am so grounded. It's time to clean out. Lole! All distracted, you take out the batteries. Signal back at them. Brilliant, and it'll mess up Cat's plan too. 
But how are we gonna reflect? Ho oh, ho ho! Why settle for one mirror when you can have a whole mirror ball? Hmm? Great! We're traveling all the way to Bootsville to meet our final contestant. Am I dreaming? Oh, somebody pinch me. Ow! I said pinch me! My bad. There! <gasps> Look out! No! Let's ride! <gasps> You're not gonna do what I think you're gonna do. All of Bootsville has Phoebe Fever for our final competitor, Phoebe! I would like to sing a tribute to an extra special someone. <laughs> His name is and I love him. I sing this song for my Way to go, Phoebe! Someone out there is one lucky... <laughs> we'll be right back. That hubcap satellite dish I rigged up sure did the trick. Yeah! <laughs> and the winner is... The Kid in the Shower! Way to go, uh, French guy! Your paper on the quantum mechanics of Captain Blasteroid's Fasteroid Drive was terrific. Although, comic books are not considered a credible scientific source. I'll remember that for next time, Mr. Gerber. Good. And then there's Coop's project. It's difficult to read your work when you keep putting it through a paper shredder before handing it in. It's not me, Mr. Gerber. It's my sister's evil cat. Right. Everyone knows how good cats are with office equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to illustrate. These are your marks when you're focused. They go up, up, up. Coop, you need to do extra work to get your grade back up. And I've got just the thing. The Bootsville Observatory's Model Rocket Club. Whoosh! 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 Uh, thanks, I guess. That's the spirit. Your friend Dennis signed up on his own. Your grades could do with some focus, too, Lauren. A chance to play with rockets? Count me in! What would my marks be like if I don't join? <laughs> uh, in that case, I'm ready for liftoff. Bill. Bill. Huh? A package for cats? <laughs> Bill. Bill. <laughs> Slot 12. What's a flange? I think it's the pointy end. Hmm. Yours looks better. Rockets! I built one of these when I was a boy, and it looked just like yours, Coop. 
So that's where my rocket building talent comes from. Daddy! I can't find my glasses! Yo, honey, why don't you watch... Uh, listen to TV while I look for them, hmm? Okay, Daddy. Time to put these rockets to the test. Bye, Mr. B. See you, Dad. Remember, boys, it's not how they look, it's how they fly. Huh? I can't find the TV. Or the door. Or the house. Welcome to the Bootsville Observatory. I'm Professor Gazier. This is the long-range telescope I use for tracking anything in my region of the firmament. In fact, I was just about to observe satellite 686 currently in orbit over Bootsville. The observatory also has a separate control station that monitors and adjusts satellite orbits. Yes, Lord? Why do we get to fire rockets? Yeah, that's the only reason I'm here. You're not even in our class, Harley. Dude, if something is exploding, I'm there. Okay, then. Let's get right to it, shall we? This way, boy. <laughs> Okay, Rocketeers, prepare to launch! Ooh, us first! Five, four, three, two, one! Blast off! <laughs> ah, that gopher grazer went for miles! Too bad we only count the distance traveled up. I'm next! Commendable first attempt, Dennis. Cooper? Five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we must have had tremendous acceleration to climb out of sight so... Oh, no worries. Remember, boys, the first launch is the hardest. Don't worry, Coop. You'll do better next time. I sure couldn't do any worse. Oh. Hey, Coop. How was your first rocket launch? A total bust, just like my grades. Well, don't give up, Coop. I've got just what you need. Uh, Millie, don't you think you're sitting a little close? Quiet, Coop. I'm watching a show about ponies. Right. Well, looks like a good one. Here you go, Coop. I knew these books would come in handy someday. Fuel combustion, engine design, aerodynamics. Of course, some of these books are... Pretty advanced. Thanks, Dad. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Don't stay up too late, sport. I won't. Okay. Linear interpolation between time thrust data points in a motor specific profile. <sighs> time to go to bed, Mr. <laughs> Cat. Ooh, Mr. Cat, you're so soft, I could cuddle you all night. And Millie? Whoa, I think that's enough milk, sweetie. Hope you're ready, Coop, because the family's coming to watch you set your next rocket record. Did the books help? They sure did. Help me get to sleep. Great, then let's blast off. Oh, boy. Let's go, Millie. I just have to finish my... Hey, someone ate all my cereal. <laughs> oh. ah! I'm just going to grab a piece of fruit instead. Oh, Mr. Cat, what are you doing in there? Ooh, your skin feels extra smooth today. Okay, Rocketeers. For your final launch, Mr. Gerber will be joining us to give you your final grades. That's right, class. Professor Gazier tells me you built some out-of-this-world rockets, and I'm ready to be impressed. <laughs> okay, everyone. Who's first? 
We'll go, Professor Geyser. Rocket to the center of the Earth. <laughs> I wonder if it'll come out the other end and shoot into the sky in China. Probably not. Your rocket building skills are extraordinary, boys. Your sense of direction, not so much. Okay, Dennis, you're next. Very impressive, Dennis. Looks like you're the new star of the Rocket Club. <laughs> okay, Coop, that leaves you. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. <laughs> Good heavens, Cooper. You just broke the club record for highest altitude. Way to go, son. Wow, Coop, you've really improved. It's the same rocket. I didn't change anything. I don't understand how. <laughs> oh, no. Look! <laughs> I'm no rocket scientist, but I know that cat plus rocket equals bad. <laughs> I should have known you were behind this. Whatever it is you're up to ends here and now. <laughs> you're trying to blow up that satellite. to retrieve the satellite 6AB6 from its orbit over Bootsville. We'll need to rebuild the guidance computers. I guess that satellite will have to stay up there for a few more years. <laughs> yeah, don't say. <laughs> Come on, Coop. When are you going to launch your rocket? 